Now, you guys sent us a lot of questions, which we love. We try to answer as many as we can. This past week, we got so many about the COVID vaccine, which could get approved in the U.S. this week. So here's Kristen Severance with a few answers. Dan, we have some great questions tonight. I mean, we always have really good questions, but I really love when the story viewers email and they ask us about things that we previously reported or something that the state previously reported like this one. So Mark emailed asking, how can you be talking about receipt of vaccines, etc.? when first of all, the FDA must approve, but more importantly for Oregonians, the Western States PACS requires an additional layer of scientific review be conducted by its experts. Thank you again, Mark, for that question. He's right. Oregon did announce plans to join with California, Washington and Nevada to conduct an independent review of the vaccine before it's administered to anyone in any of those states. Now we reached out to the Oregon Health Authority and a spokesman told us that independent review process is well underway as the FDA finishes its emergency use review process. The FDA has released more than 100 pages of data from the Pfizer vaccine trials and the West State's Scientific Safety Review Workgroup is analyzing that data ahead of December 15th, when Oregon expects to get thousands of vials of the vaccine for healthcare workers. Joe Sullivan, a senior health advisor with the OHA, told me this extra step should make people feel even more secure with the process. To add one more layer of security that before vaccine gets to Oregon, that we all feel safe and comfortable that every step has been taken, every T crossed and I dotted. And this independent review will not slow down the current vaccine plans for Oregon or Washington or any of the other Western states in that group. Okay, next question here. What happens if the COVID-19 vaccines that require refrigeration accidentally warm up? Short answer, this would not be good. Both the Pfizer vaccine and the Moderna vaccine need to be kept very cold. Pfizer needs to be kept in an ultra cold freezer, negative 70 to negative 80 degrees. Moderna needs to be kept in a regular freezer. Those ultra cold freezers are in high demand right now, as you can imagine. I talked to Jeremy Wise, an associate professor and chair of biology at Linfield University. They have two ultra cold freezers on campus and they're loaning one to Yamhill County health officials to store the vaccine. He said it's the least they could do. I also asked him, you know, what happens if the vaccine is not properly stored or it gets warm, like our viewer asked. If you don't store it cold enough, the molecule itself will break down and that makes the vaccine uh, useless. They expect to loan that ultra cold freezer for the next six months to a year. And then our last question here, is it true that if you get the COVID-19 virus and recover from it, you are then immune? Okay, so we can answer that one. That is not true. So far, experts advise that individuals who have gotten sick with COVID-19 in the past should still get the vaccine due to risk of reinfection. The CDC said they do not know how long natural immunity after recovering from the virus lasts. Natural immunity varies from person to person. So the advice right now from the CDC, plan on getting it. Hope that answers some of your questions. Do you have a question? I'm sure you do. Let us know. Just use everyone's favorite hashtag. Hey, Dan.